I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today is another Foundation Friday. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Every Friday I review new foundations and I put them to the test to see how well they really do throughout the day. And today's victim, I mean foundation of choice, is the new Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. This was actually sent to me and they sent me three different colors to choose from. Now, although they did send me this product, this video is not sponsored. I just wanted to make sure to review them so you guys know if it's worth your money or not. So I'll be swatching these three colors for you, but obviously, one did the job. Now, the full name of this foundation is the Photo Ready Candid Anti-Pollution Foundation. So when I went to the website, I got a little bit more information for you guys, and I like to do a full background check so you don't have to. Uh, it says this is supposed to be ultra blendable, ultra buildable, infused with antioxidants, anti-pollution, and anti-blue light ingredients. Blue light is the light that we get from our computer screens, our cell phones, so apparently it has ingredients that are going to help fight the damaging causes that our cell phone light and laptops can produce on our skin, and anti-pollution is also gonna be guarding us from all the pollution in the world. This foundation is just trying to save the world now, isn't it? Benefits. It has a creamy texture that goes on like a moisturizer. It did go on pretty nicely. That blends invisibly to even out skin tone weightlessly. I will agree. But one of the greatest parts about this foundation is that there's 31 shades. These drugstore foundations are finally catching on and expanding to very large shade ranges. So to give you guys an idea, I'm the color Toast, which is number 410. So let me show you guys the website to give you a little idea. The one that is marked, this is my skin tone, Toast. So that means there's one, two, three, four medium shades darker than me, probably just different undertones. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six deeper tones past that. So that's a total of 10 shades available past my skin tone. It does come in these little squeeze type of containers with a pump. There's only 0.75 fluid ounces of product. 99% of the foundations that I've reviewed and kind of just like what standard is one fluid ounce. So you do get a little bit less product in these ones and it is $10.99. You should be able to find Revlon at any drugstore, but it's also available at Ulta. And according to the Ulta website, as of right now, there's a buy one, get one 50% off deal going on. But without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied this foundation to my skin. We are starting at 231. So Revlon sent me three colors to choose from. I think two of them are gonna be too light. I hope one of them is gonna be okay. So this is 420 Sun Beige. I don't even know why this was sent to me. <laughs> this is 340 True Beige. And this is 410 Toast. That one's gonna have to work. All right, so we're gonna have to hope that this color works, but first let me apply my primer. I don't have a Revlon primer, but I'm gonna be using the NYX Shine Killer again, so we keep it in the drugstore family. Okay, so now let me grab my foundation in the color Toast 410. I do like this little pump, so I'm gonna pump one good pump onto my beauty blender and let's see how this does. I can make this work. Pot chops and applesauce. It's going on very matte too. This is supposed to be matte. Natural finish. It's pretty natural. With makeup, without. So that did a good job of getting half of my face. I'm gonna do another really good pump. Maybe do a little more. All right, this is looking really good. Okay, so here's the foundation all on its own. What do we think? The color worked out very nicely. It does have a very natural finish. I also love the amount of coverage it gives you. It's still pretty full coverage to where it will hide all your flaws, but not too heavy to where you wouldn't feel comfortable wearing it every day. 
Revlon also made a photo ready concealer to go with it and I was so excited to try these but the color that they sent me is way too light for my highlight. But just know that these are also available and I'll have to go buy the right color. So now I finished the rest of my face and I'm back. So now I have my full face on. I was playing with a couple more Revlon products. This is the new Revlon Photo Ready Candid Anti-Pollution Setting Powder. I also have the Revlon Volumazing Mascara under my lashes, of course. And I also tried this very fun, bright orange color. This is the Revlon Up in Flames, number 109 lipstick. This orange ain't gonna be for everybody. But for those that are bold enough to try it, it's pretty fun. But at this point, I'm surprisingly happy with how this looks. I was a little skeptical on how the color was going to be. It might just be like this palish packaging that made me nervous because I was focusing on that and not like the actual color. But this color worked out perfect for my skin tone. It feels really natural right now. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey. Even though it's claiming to be a natural finish, it is going on pretty matte. Definitely buildable, and I'm excited to see how long this lasts. So I'm gonna come back in a couple hours and we'll see exactly how well the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation does on oily skin. And I'm back. It is now 11 p.m. So I've had on this foundation for a total of eight and a half hours. I didn't even really mean to keep it on this long, because it's not exactly claiming to be long lasting. It's not one of those 24 hour type of foundations, but that's just how the day went. I ran some errands, I voted, and I actually ate twice, lunch and dinner, and I did not touch up my lips either. So a little lip test. This Revlon lipstick, number 109 Up In Flames, also is very long lasting. It went through two meals and the color is still popping. It's not flaking, didn't get dry. Not bad, right? But back to the foundation, let's look at my face. Not too bad. I don't know if I'm like blown away from my ending results. This is probably a foundation that I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis running errands, just I need to slap on something really quick. It is very moisturizing. This is their Photo Ready Candid. Not like Photo Ready, like photo shoot glam magazine, but like those candid photos of like, oh, I'm eating my ice cream, and oh, I'm shopping at the mall. That's when I'd wear this foundation. But let me zoom in for you guys. I'm not that shiny. I always get shiny like right around here. The forehead is a little shiny. If anything, I think it might have come off a little bit. I might have lost a little bit of the coverage, but for it not claiming to be long lasting and for wearing it for over eight hours, it's not bad for 10 bucks. But let's do a little oil absorbing sheet test, shall we? These are from CVS. Feel free to use any brand you like. They all do the same thing. I'm going to now remove the oil from my face. And all you do is just press it on there. If you have oily skin, you need blotting sheets in your life. See the difference? Yeah, huh? So this off of one side, we removed that much. But it's not really transferring that much, so that's good. So now I'm post blots, get another close up. Interesting. It does have a really natural finish though. Here is all the oil that was removed from my face. It may look like a lot to you, but I am oily, so it's kind of what I expect. But there is not a lot of foundation on here. There's a little bit in this corner, but this whole like middle spot doesn't have any foundation. But now, obviously, it does look a lot better. On a normal day, I would blot after maybe like four or five hours, or maybe I would just grab some more translucent powder and just kind of spot my face so I don't look as shiny. But for not touching it for eight hours, my foundation or my lipstick, I look pretty decent. And I think this would work well on any skin type. I have very oily skin, so this is like the worst case scenario. It's probably even better on normal or dry skin. It is moisturizing, so if you have dry skin, this is going to feel very good on the skin. So I say give it a try. I can't tell you if the anti-blue light or the anti-pollution is working off of one wear. You know, I guess it's like something you notice over time. But for the price and the shade range, 
think it's worth 10 bucks. I do wanna try the Photo Ready Candid Concealer. I'm gonna have to get the right shade, so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Ms. Beyond Grenade so you can see when I try other new Revlon items that I didn't get to really showcase in this video. You get all the exclusives on Instagram. If you've tried this new Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation, I'd love to hear your opinion, so please leave me a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Beyond Grenade today. Thank you.